Hello wonderful person, this is Anton, and in today's 360 video we're going to go on an adventure across our solar system to Saturn. We're going to recreate Cassini-Huygens mission in 360, and you'll get to see what the probe saw in the last 20 years. The year is 1997, and we're leaving Earth, departing on an adventure that will take 20 years, and will end in 2017. So, let's escape Earth, and go to our first destination, Venus. Now the reason we're going to Venus is because this probe is going to use a slingshot maneuver to get a little bit more speed before it can reach Saturn. It will actually take 7 years to reach Saturn, even though direct path would be much much shorter. So, the first slingshot maneuver is going to pass by Venus, and this is going to actually happen twice, so it will take something like just under a year to accelerate just once here, and it will also do this again by passing by Venus second time a year after. Now this second slingshot maneuver will actually uh, take it to back to our planet Earth, but it will actually be using Earth for yet another slingshot maneuver that will give it even more speed, throwing it all the way to Saturn. Or actually, no, not yet. First, it will actually go to Jupiter. And Jupiter, because of its mass, will give it a tremendous boost from the slingshot maneuver as well. So. As it passes by Earth, it actually passed relatively close and relatively fast, and um, rich speeds are needed to reach um, Jupiter. But on the way to Jupiter, it's actually going to be passing by the asteroid belt, and even discover a few asteroids and take some pictures of some of the asteroids in the belt. Now this is just a simulation, it didn't actually pass by that close, but this is what it may have actually seen. And now we're off to Jupiter. Here we're actually going to take quite a lot of new, new photos of the planet and take some of the amazing photos of Io and also Jupiter as well. Io will actually uh, be releasing some of the volcanic plumes at this point, so we will probably be able to capture some of its plumes on, um, on the picture. And now we are arriving to Saturn. The year is now 2004, it's been 7 years since we left Earth, and at this point uh, the probe is ready to decelerate and uh, achieve orbit around Saturn, and basically stay there for the next 13 or so years. And now that we are in orbit around Saturn, this is when the magic begins and all of the science will be done right here. The probe starts taking photos, starts collecting a lot of data using various sensors, and discovers quite a lot of tremendous and amazing things. One of the first things that it discovers is that uh, one of the moons of Saturn, Iapetus, actually has very interesting coloration, very unique coloration to our solar system, very dark side and very bright side. This is one of many, many discoveries um, Cassini-Higgins probe is going to achieve here, and one of the major discoveries is going to be on Titan. The Higgins probe is actually going to separate and go for a landing on Titan, the moon of Saturn, where it's going to discover a very thick atmosphere, lakes and oceans of methane and ethane, and basically a lot of other things that are still mystery to us today. This landing is one of the most successful scientific achievements of humanity to date, and you can find out more about it by watching the Huygens video I made previously. And now that we've landed on Huygens, let's go back to orbit of Saturn, and let's talk about some other discoveries, like for example Enceladus. We've discovered that Enceladus has liquid water and a lot of very interesting geysers that release various plumes of water and other material. We've also discovered 
a very unusual, very interesting looking crater on Mimas that gave it a nickname of the Death Star, because it kind of looks like the Death Star from Star Wars. Now many other things were discovered here on Saturn, and one of those things were actually seven new moons. I've talked about this previously in one of the previous videos, so you do check it out and you may learn something new. We also discovered and took photos of the amazing Rhea, one of the satellites of Saturn, and we were able to take some really high resolution pictures of it as well. And one of the coolest achievements was being able to pass by Enceladus within about 25 kilometers or 18 miles away from its surface and to capture the molecules that were actually being released by those geysers. And, and once uh, we were able to capture them, we were able to analyze them and discover that they actually contain molecular hydrogen, which is something that life requires on Earth as well. So this gives us an idea that maybe there's actually life inside Enceladus but we'll discover this in the future. One of the coolest photos that were taken here on Saturn was a picture that you're about to see in a few seconds of Saturn and its rings in front of the sun. This looked absolutely incredible, very, very beautiful, and uh, was actually almost like a science fiction picture in reality. And we were also able to study and discover new things about the rings of Saturn as well, which you see right here. And even discover that the E-ring of Saturn is actually formed by Enceladus. So those eruptions from Enceladus were actually uh, responsible or are responsible for creating one of the rings of Saturn. Now we also discovered an unusual hexagon shaped storm um, at one of the poles of Saturn. And this storm has always been there and is strangely shaped, but we don't really know why. One day maybe we'll discover, but definitely not yet. Now following many maneuvers and following many orbits around Saturn, we are eventually going to crash on it in, or have already crashed on it, on September 15th of 2017 at around noon, Earth time. This is actually what you're seeing right here. We're going to be approaching Saturn closer and closer. And uh, these maneuvers will actually happen something like 40 times. At some point, we're going to pass by so close to Saturn that its atmosphere will slow us down and we're going to be crashing to it. This will actually be one of the coolest achievements to date and you know after 20 years we still haven't really been able to reproduce this type of a mission and the reason we're crashing the uh, probe to Saturn is so that we don't accidentally contaminate Titan or Enceladus because they might already have life on it and we want to find it we want to be able to find life that it was not actually transferred from Earth so to prevent contamination we're going to be crashing the probe into Saturn and doing just some last minute science right here in the upper atmosphere. And so that's it. That's the end of this video. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, share this video with those who enjoy space videos and want to learn through video games. And I'll see you in the next video. Space out. And as always, bye bye.